Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe it is finally here. The Resident Evil 4 official HD project. This mod has been in the works for a very, very long time and it is now officially done. I've got a chance to play at least 50% of Resident Evil 4 with this mod and I gotta say, I have a lot to say. This is going to be a very packed video so make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna talk about everything I love, everything I don't love, and everything you need to know about this mod and why it's worth installing if you have a PC. But this is a video that you do not want to miss because there is a lot here and I'm super excited to dig into this and this is my honest review of the Resident Evil 4 HD project. As always, before we get started, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated and if you like daily Resident Evil content, then uh, you should probably subscribe. Alright, all jokes aside, let's get into it. Okay, so before we actually hop into this review, I want to do a very quick tutorial on how to actually install this mod. If you don't care about this part of the video and you just want to hear my review on the mod, then skip to the timestamp on the screen. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is go to the Resident Evil 4 HD Project website and scroll down until you see this right here. So there's multiple ways you can actually download these files, but the easiest way for me was through Mediafire. And if you click on Mediafire, you can see that there's 18 different files to install. And each of these are two gigabytes, so it's gonna take a little while. But basically you want to install all of these, all 18 parts of these uh, files right here. And once you do that, you wanna create a folder on your desktop and then put Put all 18 of those files that you downloaded into that folder. Then all you gotta do is go over to Resident Evil 4 on Steam, click on the options icon right here, click on properties, click on local files, and then click on browse right here. And this will open up your Resident Evil 4 directory. Okay, so now you should have your folder that you created with all 18 uh, mod files, and then you should have your Resident Evil 4 directory open. So all you gotta do is just open part one. Don't worry about any of the other ones, just open part one of the mod. And as you can see, it shows bin 32 and bio four. And all you gotta do is open up bin 32, and then go over to your Resident Evil 4 directory and open up bin 32 and then go back to your mod folder and then all you got to do is take these two config files right here and then copy these over into your Resident Evil 4 bin 32 folder. Then once you do that, back out and then right here on your bio 4, delete this and your Resident Evil 4 directory completely delete this whole folder right here, this bio 4 folder. Then go back to part one of the Resident Evil 4 HD mod and then take this bio 4 folder and then drag it over into your Resident Resident Evil 4 directory. So once you open up your game, it's probably going to ask you to install a 4 gigabyte patch. All you got to do is click OK and it'll automatically install the 4 gigabyte patch. Then all you got to do is restart your game once it's done and boom, the mod is installed. As easy as that. Let me just say right off the bat that YouTube does not do this mod justice. The quality that you're seeing right now is so poor compared to when you play it for yourself. It's insane and I love it. There's so much here that I love about this mod and it's so simple because you would think like, isn't it just like updated textures and things like that? But after playing and spending some time with this mod, I've realized that I've really underestimated the hype for this mod. Again, Again, this YouTube video is not doing this mod justice. You guys have no idea how good this looks. And there's actually a very cool feature about this mod that a lot of people don't know about, which I want to talk about in a bit. So you might think that there's not too much to talk about because it's literally just a mod that updates the visuals, but I promise you everything that you're seeing is all from the HD project and it all looks so good. You know, at first when I booted this up, I couldn't really tell a difference at first but once i was able to you know compare old resident evil 4 gameplay with this new you know ultra hd mod whatever you want to call it i realized that there are some major differences in the background of this video, you're going to see a little bit of gameplay from like Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 2 or even the PS, you know, whatever, right? Um, and then you're going to see some gameplay from, I believe, GameSpot. I believe they did a comparison, like a side-by-side -side comparison to really show you the differences. And 
it just looks so good. You know, because I feel like if you play through this without actually comparing it to the previous version of Resident Evil 4, you know, the HD version, you might think like, huh, I can't really tell a difference, but you'd be surprised. I feel like the most noticeable difference is the inventory. The moment I opened up the inventory, I knew the mod was installed. Like I could just tell like, whoa, like, everything is just so like sharp but like it just looks good look i know there's some people out there that feel like resident evil 4 was better on the older consoles like the ps2 and the gamecube because they feel like that grittier more pixelated like you know look to it is what gave it its charm and honestly to some degree i can agree to that you know because the first ever time i played resident evil 4 was years and years ago back on the playstation 2 and as much as i love these updated videos visuals as much as I love these graphics and just the texture updates and things like that I think I can agree that that older like grittier look is a little bit better but if we're just talking about pure texture quality pure graphics I believe that this mod right here this ultra HD mod is the most definitive way to play Resident Evil 4. I really hope that Capcom greenlits this and somehow like puts this on consoles or something because look if you play on console I'm gonna be honest I feel bad. You are really missing out. There might be some Resident Evil 4 haters that are like, no, I'm not missing out. It's nothing. It's garbage. But look, I'm telling you, this video is not doing it justice. You need to see this with your own eyes. But now I want to talk about a feature in this mod that I feel like a lot of people don't know about because a lot of people think that this mod is just updating the visuals, but there's actually a very cool feature. So if you actually click F1 or push the F1 key on your keyboard, this little interface pops up. And basically there's a lot you can do here, but the most noticeable thing is you can actually adjust your FOV. So this little interface comes with this mod and it's simple, like there's no extra downloads or nothing. You just click F1 and it pops up with this little menu. You're able to change your FOV. And one of the biggest things that I really like about this interface is you can actually disable film grain. If you don't know what film grain is, it's basically like a lot of horror games use this like thing called film grain where it's like on your screen. It's like really, really tiny dots, like really tiny grains of dots. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I know I just explained that poorly, but hopefully you know what film grain is. It's basically just like tiny, tiny little like pixelated dots on the screen that give the the game a little like you know a little bit more of a grittier look and as much as i love that look back in the day on you know resident evil 4 on the ps2 i don't like film grain in video games so this mod actually allows me to turn that off so it makes the screen look a lot sharper a lot clearer it removes those tiny little pixels off the screen so the image that you're seeing is really definitive and it looks amazing so so what do I not like about this mod? Well, honestly, if you ask me, the only thing I don't like is the install process, you know, because I did the media fire away, which took way too long. But outside of that, there is literally nothing wrong with this mod. I encountered no bugs, no glitches, no crashes, nothing. It ran smooth as butter. And I absolutely love what this team did with this mod. I'm not sure if it's just one guy or like a small, like a little small team, but whoever made this mod, props to you. You did an amazing job. And as a Resident Evil 4 fan, I am very happy and I'm very proud of this mod. So that has been my review on the Resident Evil 4 HD project. If you guys installed it, let me know what you think about it down below. But of course, leave all your questions, opinions, thoughts, ideas, whatever down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this mod. A big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And with that being said, I will catch all of you in the next one. And peace out.